my channel go digit today in this video we will learn about the item reservation concept in the animus 365 business center so before we start this uh, today's video uh, i would like to tell you that uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel then request you to please subscribe to it because in this channel we used to make the videos uh, both technical and functional on the topic on the technology of business central okay so let's start the today's concept so as we know uh, we are talking about item reservation so let me open the item master here and now you can see that uh, this is my item list and here uh, this is my custom item called apple okay and uh, if we see the replenishment tab here we can understand that we are not manufacturing this item or uh, we are just purchasing this item from multiple vendors okay so the thing is uh, if we see the current inventory which is available here is 30 but if we drill down the item ledger entry we can find out that uh, three locations have 10 10 inventory each okay so let's understand a situation where you receive multiple sales order from the east location which you need to fulfill against this particular item okay but the thing is because you are receiving multiple sales order from your customers thus it becomes a need of you that the first customer the first sales order which you receive you should uh, provide the inventory the available inventory to that first customer first right and then the second and then the third the FIFO approach kind of thing so just to make this sure that this available inventory should not be shipped to the third sales order or to the fourth sales order okay or any other concept uh, if you don't follow the FIFO approach if you feel that uh, out of 10 sales order you have one or two uh, premium customers whom you want to provide the inventory much earlier than the rest of the sales order then to serve all those basic needs we must uh, require the reservation concept right the reservation concept says that we can assign or we can reserve a particular in particular inventory to the particular sales line of the sales order so that that inventory is now reserved and cannot be used to other sales order okay so let's see this concept where what i'll do i'll uh, go to the sales order and uh, here let me open this sales order because the current status is open here and there is no sales line as well so what I can do here, I'll input the item number here and then in the location code, let me select the east location. Okay. And now we know that current uh, quantity or the current inventory which is available in this location is 10. So let me input the complete 10 here. Right. Now let's assume a situation where either you receive another sales order or if you want to add uh, the same item again in the next line so let me do that and let's say the same east location and here also i'll add 10 okay so guys the reservation concepts works on the line level right so it does not matter whether you create a multiple sales order or you input the same item in multiple lines in the same sales order but the concept of reservation works per line basis so let's understand this fact that where i have added the quantity 10 and i have added the quantity 10 here also but in case if i want to reserve this line or this line any line so let's see how we can reserve it so for that you select that particular line go to the line button click on the functions and then click on the reserve and when you click on it you say uh, i mean we encountered this error 
that reserve must not be never okay so click on okay here there is a field in the sales line called reserve if uh, it is not available by default then you can always go to the settings and personalize and add this field on the sales line so now current status is never here but i can always set it to either optional or always okay so what it means that uh, either i don't want to uh, reserve this item on always basis like i don't want to reserve this on every sales order or like it's only then optional thing for only particular premium customers who who have who holds a good relationship with your business for them only you want to reserve this particular item so on those grounds you can set this value to optional otherwise if you feel that this item is uh, always required to be reserved then you can select always also it totally depends on you but never means that you don't allow reservation kind of concept in this particular item so let me set this to optional so what we will do that uh, now after we set this reserve field to optional let me again select this line and go to the line button and click on functions then click on reserve and now you see uh, this window opens up which shows that my summary type is item ledger entry the total quantity against this item ledger entry is 10 and the total available quantity is also 10 okay so let me tell you about uh, this portion first so guys uh, there are generally uh, whenever we receive any inventory it always become a part of item ledger entry so that's why you see uh, different item ledger entries on this particular east location uh, line will be visible here but there is one more concept like if uh, this is a manufacturing item and uh, this item is already a part of any production order which is uh, very much on the active state in the business center it's not completely posted or if you are purchasing this item from particular vendor and that purchase order is also in a release state and uh, it's not processed yet so those lines will be visible here okay but there is a one condition here that whether the either the purchase order or either the production order all these things the receiving date in the inventory should be less than the shipment date of this particular sales order against which you are you want to reserve this item right because first the inventory should be available in your warehouse then only you can reserve it right so currently there is no active purchase order or the production order so that's why we are seeing only one item ledger entry line here okay so the thing is uh now to reserve this i can click on the process button and here we have this button called auto reserve which means that it will automatically reserve the first available quantity for the item so for example if you have multiple uh, either the purchase order line or the production order lines will be visible here so it will automatically reserve on the fifo grounds about uh, whatever uh, quantity you require against particular sales order it will start from the first line and move to the second and third and fourth okay but in case uh, you don't want to auto reserve the things and you want to reserve manually on the basis of your selection against the multiple lines so you can select that particular line and then click on the reserve from current line so see as soon as i click on that button the quantity move from this column to this column right so now it says that my quantity is now reserved against this particular sales order or should i say against this particular sales line okay so let me close this one and now this line is pretty much reserved okay you can see the reserve quantity field is showing 10 here but if i move to the second line there is nothing uh, reserved here so let me do it if i select this line and go to the line button and click on the functions click on reserve and you can see that it is 
already reserved and if I want I cannot reserve more there is nothing available to reserve right so I cannot reserve uh, against this particular uh, item ledger entry okay so the thing is this item or this inventory is now reserved against this particular line and that will make sure that uh, you will be able to fulfill your customer requirements and no other new sales order can consume this available inventory for you okay there is one more thing is that after the reservation also there is a provision where we can make some changes or we can do some modifications into it so for example currently uh, I have consumed or I have reserved complete 10 quantity but let's say if I want to change something so I change it to 5 so as soon as I change it to 5 this also changed the reservation also gets changed from 10 to 5 which means that now I can also reserve the second line against some quantity so what I'll do I'll click on line again go to the functions click on reserve and this time you see total available quantity is now showing to me as 5 so what I'll do I'll click on process again and click on reserve from current line and that's how my complete ledger entry is in the reserve state okay I can click on close and that's how I could see that I have uh, reserved both the lines with 5 5 quantity each now uh, one more thing guys that in case uh, you don't want uh, to view every single sales order and see that how many quantity and what is the status of the reservation against this particular sales line or the sales order so what you can do if you can see all the reservation status from the item card also for example if I go to the item card and open this item here you go to the related part click on the history and in the under the entries button you can see the reservation entries so when you click on it you will see the complete status of the reservation of this item against either if you have reserved it in the multiple orders or in the single sales order so we can see that it is reserved for this particular sales order number okay and this particular item ledger entry number and 5 were there and 5 is removed or and 5 again is there and 5 is again removed which means both 5 quantity 5 5 quantity against this particular ledger entry is now reserved I if I want I can cancel the reservation from here so based on your requirement you can take a decision and that is how you can fulfill your uh, reservation uh, thing to make sure that all of your customers get the right amount of inventory at the right amount of time right guys so I believe this is a very nice concept to make sure that you don't lose any of your customers based on the non availability of the inventory at least so I I request you that in case you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video